When I was shouting that the administration of Buhari is incompetent, clueless, corrupt, inept, and a failure, I see. <laughs> many people wanted to eat me raw. In short, many of them even ate me. It's just that they can't, they can't swallow me. Nothing. There's nothing I didn't get. On Bu Buhari's issue, nothing. <laughs> Hey, you see on this yeah i always say to i'm not i'm not on anybody's side even my own side i'm not on my side though as much as possible i try to perch on the side of truth and justice that is it for me whether it is against me or not against me i will stand on the part of truth where truth and justice is that's where i will try and go now we are seeing all sorts of things coming out with this whole you know uh, uh buhari's ad administration the corruption and everything that went on all the oh yeah <laughs> everybody i mean i got down and said the suffer where we go suffer no be smarty apparently i i didn't even follow you know so many things happening in nigeria some of them they just pass over your head i didn't even follow this issue i didn't i don't even think i even was aware of this not sure or maybe it was just something because of so many issues you just picked on it and went on uh, this is from Ben Murray Bruce's handle. He said, The crude oil swaps that the Buhari engaged in should not occur again. So, let me just explain it from what I understand. And I might be wrong. Please, if there's anyone you are better in for, please, you can on the comment section help us so that we all can learn. Basically, it's that Buhari has sold our crude oil. He has collected the money or something like that. And then, the next one that are going to be done is just going to be for free. There's nothing we are not going to get paid for it because there's an agreement that they've done some swap, whether it was for cash or whatever. As in, they don't pay ahead, so we just be supplying without any this thing. So Ben Murray Bruce is saying here that the crude oil swaps that the Buhari engaged in should not occur again, and the National Assembly should consider passing laws to prevent any present or future president from engaging in it. Why should one of this administration collect monies ahead of time for future crude contracts? How would salaries be paid? What about infrastructure? So apparently Buhari had collected money. <laughs> ah, Buhari. <laughs> hey. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. As in, co in own corruption, eh? He get wings. He get wings. We are bad. Put cap on top. It should never have occurred in the first place. But now that it has, the focus should not be on probing the previous uh, uh, government. And that's the part I don't understand. Why shouldn't the previous government be probed? They need to probe. Wh who collected this money? Where is this money? Where were these monies used for? Did people now share the money in their pocket and, w and wait? Or we can't just continue to sweep things under the, uh, the table. I don't get it when Nigerians are saying, oh, let's move on. Let this corruption not be, be, be probed. Every corruption, if there's any corruption, probe it. And that's why sometimes some people will come and just be accusing people of, of corruption. Just like, uh, when you're like, okay, get it. Let's get this thing. Follow it up. Go to the court. Let's go to the court. Let's get the person prosecuted. They're not be talking all sorts of things because it's this mentality that people just have to, to just put it on, on someone. No. Every corruption must be probed. You can't just say, oh, let's move on. Move on to where? Where are we? Are we not tired of moving? We've been moving on, moving on, moving. We are still in Nigeria that it's not working. Moving on, moving on, moving. We are still in Nigeria then. So, so where are we moving to? He said it should not. It, uh, but now that it ha it should never have occurred in the first place. But now that it has, the focus should not be on probing the previous government. That will generate unnecessary tension. Are we not already tensionized? Are we not already in tension? What what more tension is more tensioning than the tension we are already in? That uh, the focus should be on making sure it does not occur again, and that can only happen if we have legal safeguards in place. Additionally, no admi administration should be allowed to just print Nera ad infinitum without recourse to the National Assembly. <laughs> the national it was part part of the National Assembly. The National Assembly that assembly is so useless. I think one of the most na useless National Assemblies in the world. With all the power that legally it has, it has thrown away its power and turned itself into the plating of the executive. Part of the reason why the Nera is on the downward trajectory is due to this practice. When money not tied to produ production goes into circulation, economic destruction uh, results. <laughs> I see. Hey, Buhari Nari, I see. Incompetent, clueless, corrupt, inept, and a failure.
<laughs> May God save us from us. In the words of Gimba Kakanda.